You're watching the TC MMA podcast. And a minute ago, there was no nobody in the chat room, and now it's I got to scroll way up. It's crazy. Chat hero saying, uh, "If I can find it, why do this live? Why not do a video? If you're not going to read the comments, because one fight ago, one prediction ago, there was no one in there. Now everybody's in there. He says, "What's good, bro? So glad Snell got an easier fight than Costa. I hope Snell wins." That dude is a good person. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely probably an easier fight. Confusing, though, just because Cody Durden's getting it on late notice. And I, I, for some reason, I think that's an advantage here. I just do. I think that's an advantage. Colostrum jumping back. What's up, bro? Who you got, Lima or Santos? So, uh, Colostrum says, I think I will go with Santos. Everyone is doubting him, but the kid is good. Yeah, that's another good fight, too, in the prelims. Uh, and he says, does, does the streamer do chat or not? Let's see what Kalashim says, if he defends me. He says, I was wondering that, though. Come on, Kalashim, you know better than that. You know I'm coming. Yeah, that's when he gets into this week better as a video. Who you got? Hamza versus Whitaker. Oh, nah, this is pre-recorded, so you guys are tripping today. But I got Hamza. Come on, man. You already know, number one on the dude list. You know, when you're looking at, like, number one pound for pound and then future predictions combined, favorite fighters, all that twisted into one, I got Hamza number one, man. I got Hamza number one. Hamza's number one. Chad Hero saying you should always Q&A first not a bad idea but listen we went 15 minutes with no chat right so i'm just doing my thing and then all of a sudden i peek over and everyone's like where's he at why isn't he reading the comments why is he not in the chat room i'm here and all of a sudden it's jumping so i'm 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 in here we could we could divert the show at any time i mean this is a you know these are one of the easiest shows for me to do one of my favorites to do because it really uh we just going through the predictions and if something jumps off at any point, we went into the news for about 10 minutes, the chat room jumps off, hey, we, we're in there. And then we just get back to the predictions. It's no big deal. Say, so who you got, Hamza or Whitaker? Chat hero, I got Hamza. I've been with Hamza since day one. Well, not day one. When he, when he fought those two fights in the 10-day period, and, you know, he finished both, I'm like, okay, this guy's for real. And then you jump up to the tough fights against Gilbert Burns and Usman, and yeah, they didn't go great, but he won them. And then you see after he fought Gerald Mearshart, Mearshart won four of the next five. He finished them in 17 seconds. Beat Lee Jingliang in two minutes. That guy went on and to win the next three or four, something like that. Right? I start to follow these guys after Hamza beats them, especially the, the quick finishes. And these guys tend to do well after the fact. And that's just all swinging towards Hamza for me. Colossian says, I did defend you. You can see my comment, uh, comment about the live playing videos automatically. Yeah, I hear you, bro. I'm just playing. You know, I'm just, I just know that name, Colossium. I'm like, you know, I, I know Colossium's going to defend me because he's been around. And and he, honestly, you know, for a while, and you got Colossium knows this especially, but we'll go on a rant for three weeks about Hamza. It would be like Hamza on every podcast, in every title. And the chat room will be jumping. And then when we just get back to some of the reg you know, regular week predictions, I mean, it's UFC Vegas 97. doesn't get more regular than this. I mean, of course, we got Gilbert Burns and Sean Brady coming up and on that prediction, but it's a regular week. People aren't jumping in the chat room. But if you start talking about Hamza, even if it's not in the title, I noticed today, look at this, the chat room's jumping just because we said Hamza in the first uh, two minutes of the video. I mean, I didn't. If that's not AI's finest work, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah. Everybody getting down in the chat room. You got the poll up right now. We're about to get into Andraj versus Silva. Colossum says Steve via KO. Uh, Steve Garcia versus uh, Jean Silva. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh my gosh, that would be good. And Colossum with the early pick says uh, Natalia via decision. I hear you. Chad Hero, Steve Garcia is low-key one of the most entertaining fighters in the entire UFC. Yeah. 
And sometimes if it's close, you just go with the guy that you got a gut feeling is going to win, but that you also like, right? And I realized myself years ago doing that. And then that's where the dude list was invented, right? That's where the, that's where the, do we got the dude list? Let me see if we got it up here. Let me pull this. That's the contender series. We know that. But that's how this list was invented, right? Hamza won because I believe he's going to beat everybody, but I also like him. So I don't see myself going against him against anybody in the world. So that's why I got to put him at number one. John Jones, I like him against everybody. If he's for some reason had to face Hamza, which is never going to happen, I, I'm going to go with Hamza. So that's how Hamza gets the edge. You see how that there's no rhyme or reason there other than the fact that I just believe and like Hamza. That's how the dude list goes. So when you guys try to break this down uh, by pound for pound, then you're getting away from the whole point of the dude list. And that's just, you know, listen, list your favorite five fighters. For me, it's Hamza, John Jones, Alex Pereira, Islam Mahacha, and then Sean O'Malley slides in there. But look at Shavkat, man. He's coming. Do you see? So that's what I'm saying is like where Shavkat is right there, future welterweight champ. Drakus is up there. But guess what? If he faces Hamza, he loses. See how this goes? Max Holloway above Ilya, barely. I mean, that's going to be, oh my goodness, that's going to be a great fight. I would just love to see Max Holloway win. But Ilya Topuri is a bad dude. And if Holloway loses, he's going to fall. Uh, even with that Justin Gaethje win, it's just not a lightweight fight. And then Sean Strickland still sitting there at 10. Very easily could be out, though. But he's going to get a shot against Strikers, so we got to keep him there for now until we see what happens. And, you know, that that's that's the dude list, right? That's where the dude list came from, you know? Let me know in the chat room, what's your dude list? How would you change mine? Definitely let me know that. Because that, that's where we want to go with the do list is I want I want to see disagreement. No, I got this guy two, not three. You know, things of that nature. Now, Chad Hero submitted his, uh, okay, favorite fighter. So this is good, all right? Number one, Umar. Number two, MVP. So I'm assuming Michael Venom Page, right? Not assuming, but that's what it is. San Hagen, Poirier, Piotr Jan, or Peter Jan. Okay, so now take that list, Chad Hero. And then now factor in, are you taking Sanhagen over everybody? Are you taking Umar against whoever Umar faces? Is, is he number one because you believe Umar beats everybody? Right? MVP, same thing. Poirier, does Poirier beat, is there any lightweights above Poirier? I don't think so. So you're saying Poirier beats, so this is the battle I go through, right? When I'm making the predictions is, okay, if I... Maybe Poirier is one of my favorite fighters, but if I got Poirier versus Islam, who am I going to go with? If it's Islam, and that would be your pick in that situation, you got to move Islam above Poirier uh, in a do list style format. And that's why when people get on me about how, how are you going to say Hamza's number one pound for pound, you got all those factors going in like a prediction, right? Which then starts to change the, the one through five a little bit. And I noticed myself doing this, and I said, I need to come up with some type of list that I already know. Like, I'm taking John Jones over everybody, unless Hamza goes to heavyweight. <laughs> and then I'm taking Hamza, and I'm dead real. I'm taking Hamza. Now, you know how, how I am about my picks. Take them seriously, especially, especially the main event. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call, UFC at its height, yeah. bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, step up, step up, step up. wanna fight? Uh -huh. Hold up, think twice, uh -huh. gladiator assassin, reckless no abandon, walk through that